Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to explore how to implement the pull to refresh functionality using the Flatless component in React Native. This feature is particularly useful when you want to refresh the data displayed in your app without having to restart it. Given that we are already fetching posts from the JSON placeholder API, let's see how we can refresh this data. To begin, let's introduce a new state variable to keep track of the refreshing state. We will call it refreshing and set its initial value to false. Next, we will assign this refreshing state to the refreshing prop of our flatlist component. So refreshing is equal to the state variable refreshing. We will also provide the onRefresh prop on the flatlist component, which expects a function to be executed when the flatlist is pulled down for refreshing. Let's assign it a function named handle refresh. Now let's define this function. So right after fetch data, const handle refresh. And within the function, we call set refreshing and set it to true. We will then call the theme fetch data function but this time pass 20 as the limit to fetch an additional 10 items on refresh. We will then call set refreshing once more and set it back to false. And that is essentially all there is to it. We don't need to add any additional JSX as the two props refreshing and on refresh on the flatlist component automatically render a default loading spinner when the list is pulled down. Now, if we save the file and return to our UI, you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten posts to begin with. If I scroll all the way to the top and pull down, we will briefly see a loading indicator, but after pulling to refresh, we should now see a total of 20 cards in our UI. Our code is working as expected. The pull to refresh gesture is a common pattern in mobile development, and I wanted to highlight its implementation in this video. I hope you found it straightforward. All right, in the next video, let's learn how to submit data to an API endpoint. Thank you for watching. And please do consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like if you're enjoying the content.